Okay. We have a 200 horsepower North American motor in here today. We have it hooked up for our high pot and search test. Let's see how it goes. Let's induce some voltage here. I'll go up about 1200 volts. We will start our DC high pot test. And this will sit here for one minute under 1260 volts and we will see if anything is leaking to ground five four three two one and that completes our dc high pot test we'll discharge it and then switch over to our search test This actually requires two hands. So I'm gonna put that in my handy dandy pocket here. Go back up to 1200 volts. And this is to compare each of our phases to each other. Make sure we didn't drop a phase somewhere. That's lining up nicely. got a decent test here you would not think that by looking at the leads here's what I mean the oxidation of the copper that looks like it's seen some heat like we had a bad connection there sometime and it was left to just get hot let's hook this up and run this thing actually make sure it even turns all right Let's do it. Okay. So, in order to run this, turn our main on. Our potentiometer must be at zero. Our dampener, we're going to choose 460. All right. I'll be able to run this up at my leisure here can watch amperage and voltage make sure everything is coming up nicely together we have rotating mass here so let's get this all the way up to full rpm maximum rpm we can then dampen that voltage down because it's just going to give us max our amperage drop down once it reached its full rpm let's go over here definitely sound like doesn't sound too bad we got some bearings to change but overall this is going to be a good test and it will reflect such on the paperwork. Make sure our potentiometer is started back at zero. Whoever last used this did not do that. Dampening all the way back up, and it held all my information. I can write it on the job card. All right, our mega readings, good. Our surge is good, my pot was good. Voltage readings. We got 460, 461, 459, 62.9, 66.1, 62.7. Should that's all off? Control. Then our main. Turn this 
a little bit. I'm gonna take this fan cover off first. This goes getting it off one-handed. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful. Let's set up our pullers on this thing so we don't break it. We gotta mark our outer retainers. body against it so that end bell doesn't just fall off onto the ground. We'll take this off, look inside. Looks like they've been greasing it. Not too much. Actually no it does not. Oh man. They have not been greasing it. Well, it looks okay. Let's flip it around and get that other side. come off nicely for us. If not, we'll just have to knock that rotor through. Oh, beautiful. Uh-oh. We've sprung a leak. Gotta get some floor sweep. It's out. The roller bearing is criminally under lubed. Look at this winding, a little dirty, but overall, nothing a little cleaning and VPI won't fix. We need to change the bearings, general recondition for this guy. 